I am Cecilia Morris, the only and oldest sibling to Trezay Morris, which makes me the aunt to Jane and John Doe of this Tiffany Haddish and Harry Spears situation. I have no relationship with Trezay or her children, and I am the only one of our family that has seen all five kids together. That was in 2008. In 2018, I did see Trezay and the two middle boys at her residence in Las Vegas. It was not a pleasant experience. The reason why our entire family does not have a relationship with Trezay's children is because she chose to isolate them from us. To allow her children to meet us, that would discredit the facade and the story Trezay has told them about us their entire lives. And it would expose them to the liar that is their mother. In this video, you will hear me refer to my niece and nephew as little girl or little boy because that is what they are to me since we have no familial relationship. To the internet trolls, cyber bullies, and keyboard warriors, watch this video in its entirety before you make judgments or assumptions and try to drag me like you know me because you don't. I had no idea any of this mess with Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears was going on until people who know my sister and I brought it to my attention on September 6, 2022. The only reason I'm speaking out is because the world is dragging Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears and I'm not 100% convinced things went down like the kids say that it did. I know my sister and this time she has gone too far. I need you to quit trying to present Trezay as this mother that was duped by her friend. That's not how this went down. Trezay duped Tiffany Haddish in order to become Tiffany's friend. Trezay has created her own narrative to fit a life she wanted to create for herself. If you don't know by now, Trezay was not an orphan. She has family and she chose to be homeless and she is not the downtrodden, depraved mother the media is portraying her as. Please don't believe the hype. Trezay was never in foster care, and she knew both of our parents until the time of their passing in 2018 at 80 and 81 years old. My sister does not have any certifiable mental issues, and to say she does is doing a disservice to those that do. Now, as for the Tiffany Haddish, Ari Spears situation, the video is vile, disgusting, and in poor taste. If the goal was to deliver a PSA message about familial abuse, they terribly missed the mark, and I am genuinely and truly saddened by this entire situation. Now, I do believe that the little boy may be traumatized by the video getting out and all the comments flying around, but before all this, I'm just not so sure. I'm not even 100% sure Treze wasn't aware of the video content. I wouldn't be surprised if Treze approved the video with the expressed intentions of running game after the fact because that's how our mind works. While that still doesn't excuse Treze or the actions of the other adults involved in the video, including those behind the scenes, I think it's a big leap to go from that video to turning Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears into child molesters and pedophile groomers without any proof. Even to imply that because a video has surfaced of Ari Spears kissing a grown-ass man and using that as proof he has a predilection towards young boys is not only inappropriate at best, it is deplorable at its worst. There is no direct correlation between same-sex consensual adult relationships and child molestation or pedophilia. I'm sure the LGBTQ++ community will agree with me on that. Again, the video of the little boy is deplorable, distasteful, and horrific. And whatever reciprocity the legal system deems is due to my nephew as a result of the production of this video is rightly owed to him. And if it is found that he was molested in the process of making this video or at any time by the defendants, let the gavel of justice rain down and give them the holy hell they so rightly deserve. Now, let's address the little girl's incident. <laughs> Why is this coming out now? At any time since she's been an adult, my niece could have told the courts what happened to her and her brother. I personally think she hadn't yet been properly groomed by Trezé to take this on. This is major for a 22-year-old to carry on her shoulders. For me, just for me. I find it hard to believe this little girl, who is baby number four by daddy number four, 
This little girl whose mother is a raunchy comic with her raunchiness online for the world to see. This little girl who has most likely witnessed the abuse of her mother and may have been homeless at some point in her life. This same little girl is so traumatized by Tiffany and Ari showing her how to eat a sub seductively, allegedly, if it happened, that she can't trust anybody. I'm sorry, y'all, but get the fuck out of here and miss me with that bullshit. I believe by the time my niece was 14 years old, she had seen some worldly shit that some 40-year-old adults have never even experienced. These are not innocent, naive children people that grew up in a stable household. I don't think they've had the same address for more than 36 months at a time. If the little girl can't trust anybody, it's because of her mama's lifestyle and the men she's paraded in front of her children. The person she shouldn't trust is her old motherfucking mama. That bitch been lying to her her whole life. While going down the rabbit hole with this mess after it was presented to me, I found a joke online that my sister tells about her kids overhearing one of the many men in her life say something like, I will put these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> and then allegedly, while she was asleep, her son came up and tried to put some actual peanuts in her mouth. Now, I paraphrase the joke. You can go out there and look it up for yourself. But these children are way more worldly than you think they are. My sister has spent her adult life as a grifter and she will hustle anyone out of a dollar. She did it to her own mother. Why wouldn't she use her own kids? They are just a means to an end. I personally, again personally, I feel like this is a bad lifetime movie. You know the one where the mother coerces the kids into doing horrible things? I'm sure Trezé has been filling this little girl's head for years with stuff like, I'm all you got. I'm trying to get paid so I can take care of y'all. If you don't do this, I don't know how we're going to survive. Granny's not here to help us anymore. Or what about if you do this, you'll never have to worry about money again for the rest of your life. Now, I say again, if indeed the events unfolded as described in the court documents, then let justice prevail and let the kids get what they have coming to them. However... <laughs> I know my sister better than she knows herself and all the chatter is missing the real grift. Treze has exhausted all legal action in this matter for herself and the only reason why her daughter has custody of her brother is because the grift can't happen if she doesn't. This was planned and orchestrated by my sister to set her daughter up for the grift. And if it fails, to set her up for the fall. I could tell by what the daughter said in the court papers. We've all seen it. This matters. Breath and complexity require your jurisdictional powers and resources to tackle and end the stream of depravity committed by Haddish and Spears. My brother and I are prepared to speak with investigators and prosecutors from your office and provide you with the irrefutable evidence that substantiates our allegations. I bet you are well prepared. <laughs> I'm sure there's some attorney somewhere giving them some legal ease, but Trezé is the puppet master behind all of this. I know this because I know what my sister is capable of. I know how she throws people under the bus. <laughs> Just since 2009, Chazay has manipulated news stations, newspapers, our mother, the San Bernardino courts, the Trotwood, Ohio Police Department, an Ohio district attorney, a hospital, two sets of paramedics, a funeral home director, and two funeral homes. At some point, my sister Chazay even got married and divorced in my name. And that's only one of three times I know of that Chazay has stolen my identity. You don't think she's capable of manipulating her kids on this shit? <laughs> Treze has always been in it for the money. She never cared who was collateral damage. Treze took our mother's money, made no attempt to get mom any medical care, and then fed her hot dogs for eight months. You think she didn't take that $15,000 settlement all the way to the bank and then had her kids circle back for the next grift? I really think Trezé has put her daughter up to this because she knows the media would eat it up like you did. What's more salacious than celebrities abusing kids? It's the grift, y'all. Again, if the allegations are true, let justice prevail. Only God and the people involved know the truth. Let it get sorted out in the court system and not the court of public opinion. 
for me to believe all of this, outside of the video, of course, my niece needs to take and pass a lie detector test stating her mother did not put her up to this. That will go a long way towards making me believe the entire story. That's it. That's my only question. Did your mama make you do it? Only then will I acquiesce that this little girl is genuinely acting on behalf of herself and her brother. Let's not act like her mama ain't the queen of liars and this little girl has been lied to her whole entire life. It's a sad and bad situation, and I can only speak on what I know about the character of Treze Morris. I am a professional and a success in my own right. Check my pedigree. I am a degreed engineer with an MBA and a Six Sigma green belt. I don't need to grift. If you want to know more about this hideous family drama, message me at familydrama at takingchargeinc.com and I will send you three chapters of my book, Family Can't Pick Them, Can't Kill Them, Better Off Without Them for $10. Yes, I have a book and yes, I'm charging for the preview. This book has been done and on my hard drive for over five years. It will be released in six months or less. I wrote it as a way to deal with our mother's death and to reach my niece and nephews to let them know I am not the monster Treze says I am. Among other things, Treze has convinced them that I killed their grandmother. She's literally said in my presence in front of her children, she killed granny. When legally, our mom was under Treze's care at the time of her death. During that incident, her second son accosted me and I had to be escorted away from her residence. I've sat on this book for five years because it's more therapeutic than anything. And my therapist said the people that need to read it would never see it. But now the whole story needs to be told. And Treze needs to be exposed for the truly selfish person she is involving her kids in this grift. I could very easily stay in the background because I know I am opening myself up to the internet trolls, cyber bullies, and keyboard warriors of the world that are going to try to bring a lot of heat my way. But to quote Rosa Parks, you must never be fearful about what you're doing when it's right. As I said at the start of this video, I'm only speaking out because this time my sister has gone too far. Everything I am doing and saying is intentional, including the Marilyn Monroe filter. Message me at Family Drama at Taking Charge Inc. That's takingchargeinc.com if you want to know more of this family drama. Again, my life will go on uninhibited, whether you message me or not, whether you want any more information. I just need to speak my truth as Cecilia Faye Morris. Again, message me at Family Drama at takingchargeinc.com if you want to know more. Thank you for watching.